Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your review to the Formula One 70th Anniversary Grand Prix. Yeah, so at the start of the race, Lewis Hamilton was in second place, Gauchy Bottas third, and Nico Hulkenberg in the racing points in third. So, right, the race started, Gauchy Bottas got off the line well. Nico Hulkenberg bogged down a bit in the start, so he lost a couple of positions. But great start by Max Verstappen. And at the start, Sebastian Vettel made another huge mistake. He spanned his Ferrari, it went round the other way, and he, obviously he dropped down to last. Disaster for Sebastian Vettel. I think you all know what score he's going to get when they get on to join the ratings. But Hamilton and Fauci Bottas continues their battle out on front in the first lap. And Bottas was just able to stay ahead of Hamilton. But then later on in the race, the two Mercedes were really struggling with their tyres, you know, blistering. Even though Mercedes has a fast car, for some reason, whenever they're on a the hot circuit, they seem to struggle with their tyres for some reason. I don't know why it is, but that's their weakness in Mercedes. But Hamilton come in, put on another set of tyres. And they're going a bit better, but they're still blistering. If you had to look at Max Verstappen's tyres on the Red Bull, they were in tip-top condition. They were looking absolutely fantastic, and he finally deserved this race victory. The first non-Mercedes winner of this season. Kevin Magnussen got a time penalty for forcing another car almost off track by rejoining the track. Poor weekend by Kevin Magnussen in a Haas. And for Mayo, Kimi Raikkonen. Poor in qualifying, but much better in the race. With Antonio G. Finanzi's the other way round, where he's good in qualifying, but poor in the race. Which I don't understand why, but anyway. But as the race itself, I thought it was much more better than the last race. Yep, yeah, so race, I'll probably give it 6 out of 10 in the Grand Prix. Yep. Yeah. But George Russell and the Williams does well in qualifying, but not quite got the race pace yet. But still, the Williams looks faster than the Alfa Romeo in the moment. The Alfa Romeo is just terrible. I mean, Charles Leclerc in the Ferrari, finishing P4. To him, that is like a victory, because we all know how rubbish the Ferrari is. And he gets P4, which is absolutely fantastic. It's funny how Leclerc is getting the best out of his Ferrari, but Sebastian Vettel keeps making these stupid mistakes. It's unreal, it really is. Pierre Gasly had a great weekend in the Alfa Tori. Yeah, out-qualified a Red Bull A-team car. Alex Albon, he out-qualified. Albon made a good recovery, but he's really got to start these races good. Because that's so easy, could have been a Red Bull 1 and 2 if Alex Albon started more higher. Because Albon was making his way up the field unbelievably. So you can sort his qualifying out. Red Bull could be on for some strong points this season. Because no doubt they're best to rest uh, Mercedes, definitely. But it's going to be interesting next weekend, Bar well, this weekend now, at Barcelona, because, you know, that track's going to be hot. So it'll be interesting to see if Mercedes can handle the heat again, because this time of year in Spain, it's very hot. So looking forward to that race. Yeah, but so well done to Max Verstappen. Currently deserved victory. Lewis Hamilton finishes in P2. Still extends his lead in the Drivers' Championship. So brilliant results for Lewis Hamilton. And Fauci Bottas, P3, was not happy with Mercedes' strategy. 
very critical of Mercedes' strategy during the post-race interview. He told Martin Brundle, Wow, never heard Bottas sat down before. And each finish striker who's been on pole position at Silverstone has never gone on to win the race. Which that's quite an unusual statistic. Quite surprising in my opinion, but yeah. Right, let's get on to the driver ratings. Okay, in no particular order, this is just the order I choose to do it in. Lewis Hamilton in the Mercedes, 8 out of 10. Really struggles with tyres, but did very well to finish P2. Fauci Bottas, 7 out of 10. Very good qualifying, got pole position, but his tyres for some reason just weren't communicating, just like Lewis Hamilton's. Red Bull, Max Verstappen, 10 out of 10, perfect weekend. You know, was fastest in one of Friday practice sessions and went on to win the Grand Prix because of Mercedes tyre problems. So, fantastic by Max Verstappen and his team radio and his team radio messages telling his engineers to don't forget to drink and sanitise your hands. Just brilliant by Max Verstappen. He's such a legend on the team radio. He really is. Alex Albon, 6 out of 10. Now, I got to mark down Alex Albon a little bit. He made a good recovery in the race, but to be out qualified by an Alfa Tori, alarm bells are seriously ringing. That is shocking by Alex Albon to be out qualified by Pierre Gasly in the Alfa Tori. No disrespect to Alfa Tori, because I think they're a brilliant Red Bull B team. Yeah, but, but Albon seriously needs to get higher up the field of Royce Red Bull just going to pull the plug on him. And I can see Pierre Gasly being promoted back to Red Bull 18. Because look at what he's doing for Alfa Tori. He is definitely doing much better again, Pierre Gasly. Yep. Ferrari. Sebastian Vettel. 0 out of 10. Boy, that hurts. But in a moment... What can you do, you know? He is just making too many mistakes. And to me, I think he should just do the right thing now. Just retire. Do not see out in the season. Just retire right now. The car he is driving is not suiting him. And too many mistakes. For, for a team like Ferrari, to have a driver making too many mistakes unacceptable in my opinion really is unacceptable but anyway Charles Leclerc 8 out of 10 <clears throat> excuse me perfect weekend for Charles Leclerc you know didn't really do very well in qualifying but in the race to finish P4 fantastic by Charles Leclerc McLaren Lando Norris 6 out of 10 out qualified and outperformed Carlos Sainz all weekend. Carlos Sainz, two out of ten. Disappointing weekend for Carlos Sainz. I've been full of praise of Carlos Sainz recently, but you have to mark him down. It was a shocking weekend by Carlos Sainz. Renault, Daniel Ricciardo, six out of ten. Decent weekend for him. Performed well. As I knock on the 6 out of 10. Yep, it did very well. Alfa Tori, Pierre Gasly, 8 out of 10. To out-qualify a Red Bull 18 car, absolutely fantastic. Danny Kiat, 7 out of 10. Good weekend to him, finished P10. So both, both Alfa Tori's in the points, which is absolutely fantastic. And then, racing points, Nico Hulkenberg, 10 out of 10, fantastic weekend to him. To qualify P3, and the way he performs this weekend, if only his second Grand Prix, unbelievable. Definitely, in my opinion, I think he should take Sebastian Vettel's race 
If that's all retires, I think Hulkenberg should join the Ferrari for the rest of the season. Definitely. Lance Stroll. Seven out of ten. Decent weekend for him as well in the racing points. Yeah, despite all the criticism of racing points, they did actually pick up some decent points. So, well done to them. Yep. Haas. Roman Grosjean. Six out of ten. I'm marking him a bit higher because he had a good qualifying, but race pace, poor by the hats. Kevin Magnussen, zero out of ten. I mean, the way he weaved and almost forced another car off the track, shocking bit of driving there by Kevin Magnussen. So, zero out of ten. Alfa Romeo, Kimi Raikkonen, three out of ten. Poor qualifying, but better in the race. Antonio Giovinazzi, 3 out of 10. Poor in qualifying, but better in the race. So, the Alfa Romeo joiners, it's the other way round. Right, last but not least, Williams. George Russell, 5 out of 10. Good in qualifying, but poor in the race. Nicholas Latifi, 3 out of 10. Really got to step it up, Nicholas Latifi. Because eh? Russell is definitely outperforming Latifi. Eh? So, right. That was the driver ratings. Let's do the team ratings. Mercedes, 6 out of 10. Great qualifying, but poor with the tyres. Wow, you can tell Mercedes had an off day. I'm giving them a 6 out of 10. Red Bull, 10 out of 10. Perfect weekend for them. Took advantage of Mercedes tyre problems. Ferrari. 5 out of 10. Good result for Charles Leclerc. But going to have to mark them down a bit. Because of Sebastian Vettel's mistake. McLaren. 3 out of 10. Not the best weekend for them at all. Very disappointing from McLaren. Renault. 5 out of 10. Decent weekend for them. Alfa Tori, 8 out of 10. Really good weekend for Alfa Tori. Racing points, 9 out of 10. Great weekend to Nico Hulkenberg. And some good points for the team. Haas, 5 out of 10. Good qualifying for Roman Grosjean, but as I said, race pace, poor. Alfa Romeo, 2 out of 10. Not a great weekend to them. And Williams, 5 out of 10. Decent weekend for them. Because Russell got into Q2. So, yep, that is the driver ratings and team ratings. And, yep, I've just gone through my head. I've remembered every team and every driver. Yes, I'm going to try and be as consistent as I can with team ratings and driver ratings. Anyway, comment your thoughts down below at the Grand Prix, what rating you would give it, and who was your driver of the day? To me, I'm going to give driver of the day to Max Verstappen. Yep, fantastic performance by him. Bye-bye.